Hi everyone, hope you are keeping well. Just want to encourage you and build your faith up. And today is Friday. God has been so good. I can tell you that He has been faithful and He has shown Himself faithful to me. And I know that even for you in your life, that God has been faithful. So today we're going to talk about a promise that God has said in Isaiah chapter 45, verse 2 to 3. And it says, I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces of the gate of the brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. I will give thee treasures of the darkness and hidden treasures of the secret places that thou mayest know that I the Lord which call thee by name am the God of Israel. So God is telling, I call you by name. I know your name and I will go and make the crooked places straight. And he will break in the bars of iron, that is the strong gates. He will break in and he will help you. And he, he's promising us that he will give us treasures in the secret places. So what a promise in your life. You may have so much things in your life that you see that there is an obstacle in front of you. You see that the road that you're traveling is so crooked and it's not a straight road. It's so hard. And God is promising you and I today that he will take the crooked places of the road and make it a straight path. What an amazing God our God is. He is faithful. He is true. So in this story, if you want to learn about what Isaiah 45 verse 2 to 3 means, what it says, it, it's really God talking to a king named Cyrus. A king named Cyrus. And he, this king was not a Israel king. This king was not believing God. But God is using this king to save the Israel people, to take the Israel people. And uh, God is using, and so God is talking to this king, Cyrus, and he was a king, he was the king of Persia, and he was chosen to do the appointed work of God. So God will choose people, even though they don't believe God, they don't trust God, but God is going to use those people for God's people. So the people of Israel, and now after Jesus, it is every one of us who believes in the name of Jesus, who confess with their mouth that Jesus is Lord. He is going to help us. He's going to use people around us, even people who don't know, know God, take their lives and help people who know God. So God is faithful. So God used this King Cyrus. He was a Persian king. And he, God said to this king, I will go before you. So today God is telling you and me, whatever road that you are traveling in life, whatever pathway that you are, life is leading you, I will go before you. He's telling that he will go before you. If you see that you don't see the future, you don't know what months ahead will come, you don't know what days ahead are coming. But God is saying, I will go before you. I'm going before you and I will see that everything will be crooked. Whatever crooked parts will be straight. He is like a, God is like a mother or a parent or father who will go before the children. Let's say if a parent is taking their children or in the forest, they will not let the children go in front because we don't know what is coming in front. So the parents will be leading in front and the children will be coming from behind, behind the father, behind the mother. Just like that, God is going to lead us. He is going to go in front of us and he will make the crooked places straight. So he will go in front and we will follow him. So God is, whenever he's leading us, whenever he sees crooked places, do you know the roads that are bumpy and hard to travel? And God is going to make it level, make it straight, a, a beautiful straight road so that we can go easily, smoothly. And that all the obstacles that are coming in front of us, mountains and uh, walls that come and block, God is going to level them all out. God is amazing. So he's also saying that he will break in the pieces the gates of brass. You know, the gates of brass are very strong. Those days, 
whenever they want to protect the city they would bring uh, make walls of brass and they would make strong towers so that nobody can enter the city but god is saying i will go before you i will level the level the crooked places i will straighten the crooked places and i will break the gates of brass he will break even the strongest brass he will break everything that's obstacles in front of you you might face obstacle in front of you people who will speak unfaithful things people who will put fear in you god will break them all apart if you trust god if you fix your eyes on god whatever that people will put in front of you that are obstacles or whatever that you think that is a storm coming or whatever impossible brass that it cannot be broken god will break those gates of brass and also he will say i will cut asunder the bars of iron you know the iron bars are so strong whenever people especially when we were living back home you would have windows with irons of bars of iron so you know the strong iron so that people can't get in even the jail jail houses they have uh, bars of iron that are strong that will be protecting the house protecting the place the prisoners are in so they cannot ex escape so just jesus is saying god is telling you and me that he will break those bars of iron and he would take them all like the hulk will remove the iron bars god is stronger than anything and god will break those iron bars and help us and God will also say that he will give thee treasures in the darkness and hidden treasures in secret places that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which call thee by name, is the God of Israel. God wants to show himself faithful to you. God wants to show himself powerful in your life to show that he calls you by name. He knows my name. He knows your name. He calls us by name and he wants to show that he is the only living true God. God and Jesus is the only living true God. So it is amazing. So he's going before his people and he's going to give treasures in the dark and hidden places. Do you know when they have treasure hunt, treasures, um, pirates those days, they used to hide their treasures and they would hide them in secret places that nobody knows. But God is saying that he will reveal those treasures to us. So when King Cyrus entered those, the promised land, he was able to find these hidden treasures, amazing, or oh, valuable, a lot of valuable treasures in that land as God promised. He is promising you and I treasures in heaven. Even though sometimes we won't have, to have the help, the treasures in earth, God is promising us that He will supply all our needs, that we will lack nothing. He says the righteous will not be begging for bread. And He says that He will look after His children. He will provide all our needs. And He said, Do not worry. Look at the birds in the sky, how I look after them. Are you not more valuable than those birds or the flowers in the fields? I will look after you. God says that even better than Solomon, even better than the flowers in the field, um, God is going to look after us and he's going to clothe us. He's going to bless us. So he will give us these hidden treasures that he has for you and I. God is faithful. So he says that he calls us by our name and then he says whatever you encounter it might be temptation difficulties trials whatever things that he will smooth that whatever that is in front of us and whatever obstacle he will make us to go through that and glorify God and even even to God there is he has so much power and great uh, great uh, power in him and whenever he comes to whatever situation impossible situation in our lives when his presence comes when he comes to our situation everything becomes level everything becomes in uh, whatever is impossible becomes possible because of God so God is faithful in two ways he's saying that he will he will help us he will straighten our path 
and one way is sometimes he straightens them by removing removing them out so sometimes some obstacles trials in our life we pray a lot about it and we ask God remove them help me help me and when we pray to him sometimes what happens is he removes them out it might be a sickness that you're facing and then completely healing comes when you cry on the name of Jesus and the second way that he does is sometimes he's not removing it but he's going to uh, he's going to bending he's going to bend us and he's going to help us uh, to go through that submit to that trouble submit to that trial and go through that trial and come out victorious so sometimes there are one way that he will remove the trouble completely from our lives and another way is we go through that but we come out victorious i can tell you that so many times that i have gone through trials i've prayed to god when i'm in trial when i'm in trouble when i'm in uh, when i need god and sometimes i've experienced him removing it completely and sometimes you have to go through it but the reward yet and the end is amazing he has great plans even though when you are going through that trial you don't see the reward and you don't see why you're going through it but God is saying be be faithful and be pers have perseverance God will help you so there are two ways that you sometimes pray and sometimes it will quickly answer and sometimes you go through it and it takes long and you have to have patience and trust and faith in God and God will resolve it for you so God is amazing he will make a way where there seems to be no way he when the Israelites when they were going to the promised land they didn't have water to drink and God from a rock he got Moses to tap on a rock and water came so there is nothing impossible to God and when they want to eat food God sent manna from heaven like a bread bread kind of a food for them from heaven and also provide uh, um, 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 birds um, I forgot the name now um, I taught in the Sunday school also about it and um, um, a bird a kind of a bird to feed them so that they could have the meat so God can do the impossible there is nothing impossible to God God is faithful he can do make the impossible situation he will make a way so whatever you are clinging on to God whatever you are asking God remember that God is able to remove it out of your life completely or he can make you go through that but come out victorious come out victorious he's going to give you double for your trouble God is faithful he is faithful I can tell you from my life so many incidents so many situations how God has been faithful he has been good he's been my father he's been my friend I am eternally thankful to him and I want to use my life so God is faithful whatever you are going through commit everything to God God will take you through so let's pray to God and commit everything to God he has promised in Isaiah 45 verse 2 to 3 that he will make the crooked places straight for his children because he knows us by name and he wants to show himself powerful in our lives let's pray to our father father we come to you we thank you that you know everything about us lord you see the paths we are walking you see the ways we are walking god you are the god who is the way maker who is the miracle worker and the promise keeper lord i pray that as you have promised in isaiah chapter 45 verse 2 to 3 that you will make the crooked places straight and that you will take your children and the gates of iron and gates of all those strong things that you will strongholds you will push it down you break it and that you will level our parts lord and that you will take us and reveal to us the hidden secret treasures of you lord lord you are amazing you are faithful we trust you we believe in you so we leave our burdens to you we leave everything to you knowing that you are the god who is faithful you are the god of the impossible you can make everything possible because you are faithful lord we trust you today 
we commit everything to you. I pray for everyone who's listening today that you would touch their hearts, that you would soften their hearts, that they would open their hearts to you, Lord, and, and say that, Jesus, you are the Lord of my life. I make you the Lord of my life. I want to accept you as the Lord of my life. I want you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. Be glorified in my life. I love you, Jesus. Come into my heart. Lord, I pray that you would reveal the, yourself to their lives, Lord Jesus. I pray that you help them through their troubles, whatever pain they are going through, whatever sickness, Lord. We thank you that you are with them. We thank you that we do not fight against flesh and blood, but we fight against the principalities of the evil one. But you have already won the battle, Lord. We commit everything to you, our hearts, our minds, our thoughts to you, our ways to you, our life to you. I pray that you would level and take all the crooked ways and make it straight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God is faithful. He is my friend. He is my father. He is faithful and he will come and help us as he has promised. So I just want to sing to you one song called God Will Make a Way where there seems to be no way. I know everyone knows this song, so please sing with me. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide. Hold me closely to his side. With love and strength for each new day. He will make a way, He will make a way. By roadway in the wilderness, He'll lead me. And rivers in the desert will I see. Heaven and earth will fade, but His word will still remain. He will do something new today. God will make a way. Where there seems to be no way, He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me, He will be my guide. Hold me closely to His side, with love and strength for each new day. He will make a way, He will make a way. By roadway in the wilderness, He'll lead me. And rivers in the desert will I see. Heaven and earth will fade, but his word will still remain. He will do something new today. Amen. He will do something new today. He will do something wonderful in your life and mine today because he is faithful. He can change people's hearts. He can touch anything. He can touch the impossible things and make it possible because he is our God. He is faithful. He calls us by our name. He knows us. He knows our hearts. He sees everything about us. There is nothing hidden from him. And there's nothing impossible to God. So trust in Jesus. Trust in God. Know that He is for you. He is for you. He is for me. I believe whatever we are believing for God to work in our lives, to make the crooked places straight, that He will do everything for our good because He loves us so much. He loves you and me so much because He sees our heart. He sees the love that we have for Him. And when we love Him, we have nothing to worry because He will take care of everything. He is faithful. He is so true. He is so wonderful. Let's give testify of His goodness and mercy and His faithfulness, how He has provided for us, how He has been faithful. Lord, I pray that God will bless you today. I pray that the Lord will shine on you, on you and bless you today and that he would make your crooked places straight. So I just want to read to you Isaiah 45 verse 2 to 3 again just to strengthen your faith. I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in the pieces of the gates of the brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. And I will give thee treasures of the darkness and hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, who call you by name, 
am the God of Israel. He's going to show himself faithful to us because he wants to be get all the glory. So whenever the, the testimony comes, we give him all the glory. We give him all the honor. We give him all the praise because he is the one who helped us through. So I hope that you were encouraged today. May God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend with your family and may God bless you. Bye.